Hey guys, it's Taron here. Welcome to the start of my Red Dead 2 playthrough. Before I start the playthrough, I just want to apologize for the lack of content. I've been focusing on IRL stuff, finishing up classes, and got family stuff going on. And I also just haven't really felt like recording and making any new videos. I actually do have a Fortnite video that I am planning on getting out at some point. For now, I'm probably going to focus on Red Dead and get some more Call of the Wild content out eventually. As we all know, eventually Call of the Wild is going to be getting a new map soon. So I want to prepare for that. And eventually me and my family are going down south for a vacation, so I plan on making a video on that. I'm going to try to bring some more IRL content to the channel. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you all in the next one. Alright, so we're starting off somewhere cold. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay, Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There! Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he, you know, an old man in town, abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! This should get interesting. Chapter One, Coulter. Bring him in here. Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit, quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this, just for a short bit, and I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, 
Jenny. Sean, Mac, they may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. But what really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith. Get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. I... We need you strong. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Ain't sure what we're going to find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. And we'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Yeah. Careful over this bridge here. Might take some time. I haven't played Red Dead in a while. This is my first time playing the story mode. We lost Davy too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. A couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. Hey, I think I see something up the path. You up ahead. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean. We don't know. Quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope. Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Move up, Arthur. I'll cover the rear. Whoa. You run into anybody else? I, I reckon we're the only ones crazy enough to be out in this, Morgan. 
Yeah, well, don't talk to me about crazy. Oh, so no, glad you're all right. I was worried, Micah. Look, it's all gonna work out, Morgan. We lost a few folks, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Well, I'm glad you're feeling so good about it. Where are all the others? Old mining camp, back up the hill. It ain't much, but shelter. So, this house, you speak to the people there already? No. Like Dutch told us, look, I don't talk to no one. Just following orders, you know me. Right. How much further? Not far. What does that mean? Not far. Uh, fine. Okay. Let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Okay. Let's head down there. Let's hitch up here. <laughs> Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. Sounds like quite the party. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. Now I'm out of sight, Dutch. Jeez. Hello? Shut up, Billy. Shh. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> Look, there's a corpse right here. Now, I, I just uh oh. Some there's a body food in the wagon. I hear you. Just Gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should. Well, buddy. Now, friend, I ain't asking for much. Please, I am kind of desperate. Hey. Well, I guess we just can't. I don't believe it. Come here, partner. Come here. Over there. More of them. Pizza there. Well, guess we're shooting. Oh, is he this way? Shoot. <laughs> Get back here, boy. I see you. You ain't getting away this time. All right. That's my boy, Arthur. Good shooting. Goddamn, O'Trisco 
Cowboys here. Why? I don't know. Maybe same reason as us. Micah, go bring the horses closer to the house. Arthur, let's go search the cabin. Well, my, might, might as well put the gun away for now. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials: food, medicine, whiskey. Oh, starving! Sweet corn. Yep. Strength up for the ride back. There we go. Get some of that baked beans. Oh, Grab some peaches. I don't believe it. It's a strange peaches. one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here too. Grabbing some biscuits. There's a big price on Colmo Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Big old pool of blood on the floor here. <laughs> sure. Probably the poor bastard who lived here. Mike found a dead body in the wagon outside. One Colm dead. It's about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Uh, looks like the poor bastard was married too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. Place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Keep searching while I pack these on the horses. What are you doing in there, Arthur? Hey, Doug, I'm just looking around. Jeez. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. You got Micah, it. You search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Sounds like a horse in there. Is that figured? A Surprise, motherfucker! What the hell? I'm gonna break your neck! Take this, old Driscoll's! This guy just killed me! Oh, did he now? Sneaky little bastard. Should I kill him? No. Not yet. Find out what they're doing here, and where Colm is. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. Where's Colm O'Driscoll? Uh, we have the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here. Near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> Well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. Please. Get the hell out of here. You're lucky. Oh, I don't have my gun. All right, well. Oh. Oh, and my hat. Okay. Go, huh? So I'm a little 
little bastard scurrying off. Yeah. Figured he won't get far in this anyway. Probably not. Looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. Tie him up over there, Arthur. Oh, okay, I see. Yes. I guess it must be this. Yep. Get away from me! Michael, what the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, oh boy. Leave her alone! I wasn't doing nothing. She's one of them or Driscoll's. No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her. Miss, miss. Are you fucking oh, fool? Michael. Damn it, Micah. Miss. Now, it is gonna be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss. Miss. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. You okay, miss? They came three days ago, and my husband, they... Okay, miss, you are safe now, and you can't stay here. You come with us. Arthur. Miss, it's okay. We're bad men. Yank them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. is Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back. How'd you get on? Uh, Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting a train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is, but we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food. And this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan? We put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Well, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. Ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. <gasps> Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... 
Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. And he'd look for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. You wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well... Hmm. Seems somebody left. Recently. And... That way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. Let's cross. See, they continue up that way. I think it's John. You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but could be anyone. Let's just Let's see hope what they it's need. John. So you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Take it slow. Big ravine here. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. I ain't like him, though. The tracks go left, down here. Davy got shot. Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Damn snow's coming in hard again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. Well, I'm not gonna mess around with the camera. Yeah. was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Oh, Let's see if he can hear us. Come on. Up there. Ha! 
Ixi. Ah, I see. So, Down this way. Sort off. And his horse just took a dump. Drop here. Watch out here. Watch your head here. Okay, good now. Watch your step. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up this way. Come on. Over here. That sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John. Sure, it's John. Let's keep moving then. Come on. John! Austin, you hear me? It is him. Down here! All right! Hot down, Marston! He's down here. That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. So good. I don't feel too good neither. <clears throat> Freezing. <clears throat> don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. <clears throat> well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. Uh, you all right? I don't think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. You see that? Uh oh. Bridge? I'll keep 
John's friends off until you're clear. All right, John, come on. Let's get you on that horse. All right. I've dealt with rolls and call the wild. I can deal with them here. Ow. you come from? You see any more, Arthur? Don't think so. Jesus. You still with us, Marston? Just about. You're gonna be okay. Master. Shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. Hmm. Should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving. Damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Nah. You can do better than that. One thing you ain't short on is fantasy. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. Some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. Oh, here we go. There we go. <gasps> Ay, careful, idiotas. It's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> Thank you, I think. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're going to get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? 
get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. We're warm enough. I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. We have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. I hope not. We had a bit of bad luck, but then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit, and we go back to Blackwater, and we get our money, or we get some more money, and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. We got this. We're safe. Stay strong, Jose. What about you, Arthur? You doubt me too? Never. Good. Because you know me, son. I'm just getting started. Once we get some money, well, they... They better send some good men after us, because they ain't never gonna find us. But we need money. Of course, Dutch. Thank you, son. For your strength. It means a lot to me. 